what's up god so i'm gonna do a twin flame reading a little different today i'm gonna add a little flavor to the reading only because i want to um we know the storyline especially the one that i keep getting <laughs> maybe we'll get some new information today i actually want to dig deep into the heart of the masculine dig deep into the heart of the matter um and just ask spirit some questions what do we need to know that we don't know right now like what is some inside information into the emotions and the heart of the masculine that we really need to know and i'm going to use some uno cards to add some flavor to the reading and got you know some additional guidance that's you know fun but also still spiritual guidance um as it pertains to the masculine today's reading was brought to you is being brought to you by gembodytmc.com cup of tea guys i got so many compliments on my gym body hoodie i cannot wait to work out in it um when i get back into my routine on monday i'm really excited about it so support the movement tmc stands for the movement continues the marathon continues through me and you following our goals following our dreams and mastering balance of our mind body and spirit okay so my little spiel before i begin let's start with the new spiel the twin flame journey is not it's, it's definitely a relationship aspect to the twin flame journey. We know that. But it's mostly about you balancing the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself. You are a spirit. You are a spirit being and a physical being in one. It's like looking in the mirror. The person you look into a mirror is something. It's like looking into your soul. It's two parts of you. And they want to be one. They don't want to be separate anymore. Being separate is not being in tune with your intuition, only being one or the other, only being intuitive and not in the physical reality, or only being in the physical reality, only believing what you see with your physical eyes instead of being in tune with your third eye. They want to work together. So the twin flame journey brings you two together. And when you're together with your third eye, your spirit self, it draws in it something in the universe mirrors your external partner your divine partner and they become one with their mirror self um are we all blessed to be able to connect with our twin flame in a lifetime maybe this lifetime is not your time to connect maybe it is it all depends on your mission and your journey and whether you balance again your internal masculine and feminine energies so take not only that Take it as it resonates as to your life. So you may write, watch a twin flame reading and you may not even um, be on the journey of twin flame, but it might relate to your relationship. So take it as it resonates. Okay, tarot is spiritual guidance. Um, intuitive messages and mediums. Spiritual guidance leading you to more life, leading you to more light, happiness, confirmation of things that you intuitively already know. We're giving you guidance into something that you don't know. It's not a dictator. I'm not here to tell you what to do. So again, as a two-way, three-way street, me, you, and spirit, we all work together to deliver a message that is unique to you. If you would like a more personal, private reading, click the link in my description. But these YouTube readings can also be helpful, as you're here for a reason, and maybe there is a message that will help you. Okay, so today let's ask spirit. Um, spirit, we come forth with a, we want a message into the heart of the matter of the masculine. And we want to know how to react to it or give us guidance on it. But just, we, I really want to know the heart of the matter of the masculine. And I'm firing up a Palo Santo stick. Because I want to protect my emotions. I want to protect my spirit. My, I'm an empath. And child, I just watched a clip from Real Housewives of Atlanta and got emotional. I'm like, I got to get my stuff together. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's... Get into the heart of the matter with the masculine. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Like, subscribe, share. Help me out. Help my channel grow. I've been noticing all these other channels growing a little quicker than mine. I don't know what work I'm not doing. But, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you who are here regardless. Oh, that does something to me. That essential oil, lavender, really does something to me. It helps. I don't know if camera time. Sorry, you can't really see it because of these lighting. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, let's pull the Uno card first. I wanted to see. 
um, the energy. So I've already kind of like read them, you know, at, together as a group to see. Okay, spiritual completion. All right, spiritual completion. Union. All right, so we got four ooh, and zero on the bottom of the deck. When infinity is what that is. Zero is all and nothing at the same time. It's everything and nothing at the same time. It's it's all. It's it's everything. So we got infinity. We got seven and four. So this is spiritual completion and the journey to union. Yep. So masculines are completing cycles. I'm so proud of the masculines. You know they're doing the work now. Um, true divine masculines. They're on the journey and they're doing the work right now to complete the cycle. I'm very proud. And you know what? This is also your inner masculine as well, feminine. Doing the work to complete the cycle. <sighs> we have to get in tune and unify our masculine energies as well. So both internally and externally, there's spiritual completion going on with divine masculine and divine feminine. Man, I can't wait to pull one card and get like something like reverse. Then you're like, oh, so you went back huh? to the karmics. I'm excited about my Uno cards. <laughs> Actually, um... These are my baby daddy one cards that I kind of like took them. Because I was looking for some playing cards to add to my collection. I already have um, playing cards that I use to read. But I had a dream about them again that I use playing cards. So I was going to use some more playing cards. And then I came across Uno cards and some of my spirit was like, let's use those. I'm excited. I feel good about it. Yeah, masculine completing cycles. I just dropped so many. Haha, <laughs> Emperor on the bottom of the deck. I gotta figure out this lighting too. I, don't, I want you guys to be able to see the cards. So, masculine. I'm gonna put these over here until I use them. I'm proud of you. Completing your cycles. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, um, ooh, six of coins, six of cups, king of coins, ten of swords, four of coins, six of swords, the magician. First thing I notice is 666. Twin flame. 666 to me is a number of spiritual completion, spiritual journey from, let's call it from hell to heaven. Um. I don't attune to or, you know, believe in like the market and beast, things that we were fed to fear, to put fear into our hearts. Um, I believe it to be a spiritual number of spiritual evolution, spiritual completion, spiritual unification of your duality. So if you're seeing 666, it's highly related to, because listen, 666 equals 18, 18 equals 9. That's basically 6-9. And 6-9 is divine. 6 relates to the sun. Nine relates to, I relate nine to the feminine and six to the masculine. So it's like yin yang, um, unification of your dualities and spiritual completion. So that makes sense that we've already, and listen, seven and four is 11. So it's a spiritual thing to this um, reading already. We got the number seven, we have four unification, we got 666 spiritual completion. So masculines are going through, and we already know this, masculine and feminine actually are completing cycles. Tomorrow... The 28th, the 29th, the beginning of the Kabbalistic, um, you know, 28th is a new moon in Lib Libra, I believe, but it's the beginning of the Kabbalistic New Year. So it's new beginnings. It's it's creation. It's new cycles and phases that's in our lives. So we're aligned. And if you're aligned with the energetic flow of the universe, you are also doing some cleansing and also preparing for this new beginning, this new spiritual beginning in our lives. Yes. Yep. But if we read these cards in addition to 666, we have spiritual completion leading us to balance. Six of coins is balance. Equal give and take. Um, a relationship, a partnership that's equal to us. That's equally yoked. And, you know, a love that is connection to our soul tribe. So the feminine, finding the love of the feminine. Finding the love of the divine partner, coming together and transitioning the lives, making a transition. We know that when we come together with our masculines, we're transitioning. Um, 
Yeah, so this is good information because as we are preparing and being prepared by spirit, by tower moments, by completing cycles and by the energy. Oh, my computer. Computer's messing up. As we are completing cycles, our masculine is too. Both preparing. So it stopped me right in the middle of my sentence, but both preparing to be with each other. And crazy, not crazy, but amazingly, it stopped. My video stopped at 1010. And we know that 1010 is more life. So on the way to more life, on the way of double completion and on the way to togetherness. Okay. So then we have... Let's start here. The Ten of Swords. Because it's time for this connection to be manifested with the Four of Coins and the, and the Magus. is holding on to each other or and manifesting this connection. This connection that doesn't falter. This connection that, you know, ready to come together and hold on to the feminine. The masculine not letting go of the feminine. The feminine not letting go of the masculine. In order for this connection to be manifested and, and put in a well-established state the king of coins is someone an authoritative figure who is well established it's like taking you from ending to being well established and it's crazy because most of the journey of the masculine and feminine was done separately but when you come together it's going to be like you were well established together. It's almost going to be like you were married. You know, you were one of those couples that's been married 30 years. But in reality, you're spiritually connected already in the 5D. So when you come together in the 3D, it's going to be like a well established established couple. It's like power goals. It's like stability, solid, authoritative, established. People are going to look to you and the masculine, the feminine and the masculine as a guide. And then be like, oh, we just got, you know, we just unified a month ago. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you're not even going to have to be together for a long time before people look to you as a guide and look to you for answers. Because you've already met this connection is something that is eternal. You know, it's a connection in spirit. So when it manifests in, in 3D, it's natural for it to feel like it's been connected for 30 years because... Again, it has been, or longer, you know, because it's already in the 5D. So, yeah, you're going to be very well established. But before you get to being well established, um, you know, you complete the cycle. But you're almost there. We're Ten of Swords. You know, I think I'm out of the energy of, honest, nope, I won't even say that. I was about to say I'm out of the energy of being hurt by this completion because you're gonna leave things behind and <laughs> okay so me when I get I don't like leaving things behind now I'll get up and move a city state I'll get up and move like that but something about where I am right now I'm feeling attached to it I'm feeling comfortable and I really think it's connected because I I think it's because I'm in the energy of the karmic um, and my karmic's energy by being in his home, I, I think that's the comfort level. It's going to be hard for me to get out of the city. It's going to be hard for me to move. And then my son is also, our son is also here too. So and he's comfortable here as well. He's, I, and I also think that we're just tired of moving and, and this journey has taken us from city to city, state to state, and we're, we're ready to be stable. We're ready for this king of coins stability. So... I know that it's going to be, it is going to, I was going to say I'm out of this pain energy, but it, it will be a hard transition for us. Um, I'm, I'm not manifesting it. I'm just acknowledging my, you know, I'm, I, my connection or I'm acknowledging my feelings as it pertains to it. But anyway, this ending may not be easy for any of us, masculine, feminine, whoever you resonate with. And I'm sorry you can't see the words, but that's the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you know, it's it's gonna it's not gonna be completely easy. But you know, we're doing it. Spiritual completion. Who said spiritual completion was supposed to be easy? Nobody did. When I took this journey, I didn't have anybody I, I knew it wasn't gonna be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But this is not for the weak. It's definitely for the meek though. Or it'll it'll make you meek. 
the ego will be beat out of you in this journey. But yeah, completing cycles, preparing for this stable, solid commitment. You're going to go from not being together to people doubting you, from people doubting you to being power couple goals, relationship goals, twin flame goals. In a matter of a little bit of time in the physical reality. But truth is, truth being told, it was connected the whole time. I keep getting this King of Cups energy. Maybe I need to fix this lighting because you guys have to see this. This King of Cups energy coupled with Three of Cups. <laughs> oh, man. Let's pull some more cards. Um, listen, because we're in the heart of the matter. Maybe it's controlling your emotions. Getting in control of emotions as it pertains to other people. Again, because I asked spirit for the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is we are completing spiritual cycles and... What's this King of Cups for your energy? Oh, no, that's too much. Okay. I bet if I pull a Uno card, the reverse will come out. <laughs> what is this King of Cups for your Cups energy? I'm just trying to come out, guys. But I, I do feel like this is the energy. Three of Cups came out again. All right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And I guess it's on the bottom four of cups. Yep, we know we know that it's um four of swords here. Going within, going within <sighs> from a perspective of from a s not stoic, but from a perspective of who's the best one for me. So masculine while he's completing these cycles the spiritual cycle and manifesting a connection with the feminine but it could be still a bit of who do i run to kind of um, or who not who do I, yeah who do i run to or who do i connect with or who do i unify with or it's just still energy of third party removing third party energy from your heart yeah because the king of cups is not an emotional card He's in front of his emotions, the King of Cups, in front of it and unfazed by it. So it's like, and then to add the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups, removing third party energy from your heart. So the masculine is removing third party energy from his or her heart. This could also be a message for the feminine as well. We need to remove third party energies from our hearts as well. Again, we're both completing this cycle. It's not all on the masculine. It's on the feminine, too. Interesting. Third-party energy is being removed from our hearts, especially, you know, the masculine and the feminine. Why? Because this connection is manifesting, and the cycle is near completion. Again, the Kabbalistic New Year is coming. Um, we have so many things happening at the same time. New Moon Libra, um, which is love, you know. And Venus, planet Venus, we have Venus and Libra, I believe, now, or coming up. We have, um, what else do we have going on this year? Saturn, direct. It's so many, everyone wants to show itself. Um, let me show all these cards. I'm going to leave it here. I'm gonna, and then we're going to leave it at Knight of Cups. Feeling isolated and lonely. Feeling left out in the cold. Feeling... A need for a connection and masculine may even communicate his, his or her emotions because on the bottom of the deck energy we have the seven of cups then we have the moon then we have the page of swords and the knight of cups feeling lonely isolated left out in the cold you know internally conflicted because of again removing you're removing these emotions from your heart. And then once masculine removes these energies, this third party energy from his or her heart, it's, you have to get in touch with your emotions. It, 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 getting in touch with what you really want, but also feeling left out in the cold. But coming to the realization that, well, this is why this happened. 
You know, it's like having mental clarity. Okay, I get it. It happened because it's time for this connection to be manifested. Yes, didn't I just say that? King of Swords. So after, sorry guys, I'm really apologizing about my lighting. <laughs> Bless me. So after feeling like this energy of, you know, getting in touch with his or her emotions, removing, first of all, removing third party energy from his or her heart, being unfazed by third party energy. But when you remove third party energy and you spend some time alone, um, you get in touch with their emotions and what you really want. You may have to go through a, a, a time, masculine may have even had to go through a time period of being confused and not knowing what, who to go to or not knowing who, who to be with or not knowing what it even is that the masculine wants but overcoming that obstacle and gaining mental clarity after a period of being alone and expressing your emotions expressing uh, and you know what and maybe even feeling isolated and alone or left out in the cold but sometimes to appreciate something spirit will remove it from you as well as distractions sometimes our distractions you can throw yourself in work throw yourself into a relationship throw yourself into someone you're sleeping with and it kind of just it removes your mind from the most important things that distract you from what's important and this connection this divine feminine masculine connection is important so it's like when spirit remove those connections remove those distractions it forces you to feel what you're actually supposed to be feeling when you remove yourself from social media you feel you you realize i'm alone like I, I feel connected to these people online but we're really not connected and so it's like removing the phone out of your hand and realizing that you were alone the whole time you were just distracted or you felt alone and isolated in the cold the whole time you were just distracted but the answer to your loneliness and is your spiritual need to connect with your feminine internally and externally yeah coming to terms with his and her emotions and then having clarity of thought of the reason why it happened in the first place huh and when that clarity comes be prepared because the masculine is not going to play with you. The masculine is going to come and fight for you. Stand stand his or her ground and fight for the feminine. We got the Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Emperor. Ready to step out of the box. Ready to fight and stand up for his health, his or herself, and come together with the feminine. Because now that I know you're the answer, I'm coming towards you. And this is the six of wands. A lot of, a lot of passion in one. Re the emperor, the knight of wands, the six of wands, the seven of wands. It's like lots and lots of passion manifesting, wanting to come together in successful, a successful connection with the feminine. And I'm gonna leave it at there because um, I just wanted to do a quick reading for the weekend. But we know that we're completing cycles, and both are completing spiritual cycles and coming together as one okay guys thank you for watching like and subscribing commenting again thank you strawberry 1050 i don't even have to look at my phone i know your name <laughs> for your comments and your support i really appreciate you if you want a reading um email me my email is in the description box i do it pro bono um only because i'm really appreciative of your support i wish you all love i wish you all light and i wish you all Wait, more life. One more person. Oh my god, because Yusuf, I, I think I call him Yusuf, but his name is, yeah, Yusuf. Thank you for your comments as well. Yusuf Yukana, I appreciate you too. I really do. Thank you so much. You, it's been years. You've been commenting for, I feel like, as long as I've been on YouTube. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Clear your minds. Create, create, create. As we enter this Kabbalistic New Year, get in tune with your masculine energies and complete these cycles with a bang. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D dot com. To book a tarot reading, you can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. 
I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life. Peace.